Okay, I wanted to show you a little bit about how I'm using my Stream Deck. Now, I'm using a program called Wirecast to actually mix my video together. But you can also use a program called OBS. OBS is used a lot in the gaming field, and so is a Stream Deck. So in my configuration here for teaching, I have a green screen behind me here, and you can see that as I move that. So I have an image that's been overlaid there. I also have my nice little whiteboard if I want to use that, so I can stand up and use that. Um, but I can also switch around to different views. So here I can, um, well, let me go to the back here, and you can see that I can pull up different applications and pull those right to the forefront of my screen. So I can pull up Zoom, and it'll actually start Zoom up and make it the... Uh, foreground application, but I also have different subdirectories where I can do different commands and I can mute or unmute, I can um, uh, start sharing, I can uh, exit the meeting, do all sorts of stuff like that. But with this Wirecast one, I can uh, engage a recording locally, so that would record my video and audio locally. But what's kind of neat is I can also then switch to different shots, they're called. Okay, so this is a shot of me with the native, so it doesn't have the green screen effect at all. This is uh, me with my slides, so I can have my slides here and I can move my green screen over a little bit if I want, and then I appear totally in front of my slides. Um, I can also just do my slides alone, so that is without me at all. Uh, I can also um, advance my slides, so I can actually move these slides um, from one to another using these uh, icons here. Actually, I have to bring my slides into focus here. I've got my recording app in focus, but this would allow me to then control my slides uh, as well. I also have a small document camera, so I can press that, and then I can uh, have this document camera where I can show something, or more importantly, I can write something for my students to see. Hopefully it's something more than that. Uh, but once again, I can determine how much of a green screen I want on that. And uh, maybe I just want it without me as well. Um, and then you can have many different views. Okay, so I can have different parts of my screen. The upper screen, I have two screens uh, native. The um, lower screen... Uh, with me or the lower screen natively. So that's actually my entire screen um, before you're just seeing a portion of it with my slides. And then this will be just the whole screen without me. So I find this really valuable because it allows me to demonstrate things um, for my students in a way that's pretty natural. Also, I'm not messing around with switching from one thing to another. I also like it because I'm not messing around with trying to share screen. So uh, if I do it this way, it works out really well for showing my slides, but what's also really cool is that it works out really well for sharing movies because the video stream in Zoom is optimized for frame rate. So it gives me a good variety as far as using Stream Deck in my courses. Now I also happen to be recording on a microphone that is from the same company this is not an endorsed video. I wish it was. If they want to endorse me, that'd be that'd be awesome. But this is a uh, relatively cheap, less than two hundred dollar microphone that is from the same uh, gaming company, and I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, so anyway, that's just a quick tour of how I use Stream Deck in my classes.